Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking With Me, and as promised, I feel a lot better today. Thank you guys so much for all of your sweet comments, your prayers, your saying that you have bad days too, don't worry about it, that kind of thing. I really, really appreciate that. Um, before we get started into our video, we're going to make something a little different. I always say that, Donna. We're just going to make some pockets and things. <laughs> But I wanted to say thank you to a few people who have donated to our channel through Buy Me A Coffee. And if you want to know what that is, you can click on the link below that says Buy Me A Coffee and it'll take you over and you can just read about it. It doesn't commit you to donating anything just because you go over there and read about it if you want. So we do have some free digitals over there and I'm about to upload tomorrow uh four more free digitals for you to get from over there so you can get the free digitals and then if you want to you can give us a small donation that goes to our youtube channel if not that's perfectly fine uh dun hamida 50 cm o f f e t t one marge lc in maro maro peterson Mar mary jane two Amber Patel, 82, Kiki, 322, T.L. Monteville, One Stroke Plus, Linus Bourne, 0126, Jan T. Bannon, and Wicked Stitches and more. <laughs> Sometimes I can't read my own writing. All right, I'm going to use some paper from ePapery. This is called Garden Collage, and this is some of the first papers that ePapery has done in the digital. So you guys, I'll put their link below, and you go over and check them out. They're absolutely gorgeous, I think. But you can use any papers that you want to do this. Now, I'm going to start out by using some book pages. I always get a question on, why do you use book pages and then cover them up? Well, you use book pages to give you that base that you need in order to glue stuff on. You know, if you just used this, this is printed on regular copy paper, so this would be rather thin. But if you use that book page, you have kind of a base to go by. So that's why I use them, and I usually use some that are, you know, that have, are older and that have been donated to me, that kind of thing. My book pages are nine by six, but there again, you can use any size book pages you want. Make sure that you just match it up to your journal that you're going to be putting these in. You may have a smaller journal and want to make smaller pockets. You may have a larger journal and want to make larger pockets. Up to you. And this is going to be a pocket combination something else. So <laughs> just stick around. Um, first thing I'm going to do, and, and I... The moral of this story is, don't clean your scissors, my big sharp scissors, don't clean them with just a baby wipe. Mm, yeah, the baby wipe tore and my finger slid across the scissors and they're very, very sharp. So my hubby doctored me up a little bit. I said, look, I gotta do a video and I don't wanna get, you know, the blood on the video. He said, okay, give me your finger and I'll see if I can doctor it up. So, <laughs> he did. All right. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to cut a little, a little, a little, a little, I can't even talk, a little bit of this bottom off because I don't really want one that tall. But there again, that's up to you. So, I'm going to cut that little piece off. I think that'll be enough. And I did bring this. I don't know if this is from their collection or not, but I thought I would just add it in. That's just a little scrap that I had left. I'll put their little tag right there. I just think these papers are so pretty. Uh, and I need some little journaling cards and pockets and things. So what do we want? This is going to be the front of mine. Now, another thing, let's see. I may cut this top one back just a little bit. I should have folded it a little bit different. And I'll tell you where I saw this. I have I made some like this a while ago, similar to this. But, you know, you forget about making things. And I was watching Carol Law last night, and I saw that she had do, been doing these, and I thought, hmm. She did them uh, probably a year ago or something like that, so... But I thought, I need to make some more of those because they go really good in a journal. Now I'm going to do some tearing around the edges to get this white off. 
you can put it in your trimmer and do that, but I'm just going to use my ruler. I don't mind that little rough edge there. Whoops. Forget to hold. There we go. So, what have you guys been doing? Thank you guys, all of you who sent me well wishes and all that. I mean, I wasn't. I was just a little bit down because things don't... You know, I'm very impatient. I don't know if any of you know that about me. <laughs> my kids know it about me. My kids and my husband know I am. Um, I'm a very impatient person. And I don't know. I guess because I work all the time and, and like to get things done and get things gone and ship things out. And I, I just expect everybody to work that way. And my husband said, not everybody works like you do. So, you know, you got to chill. And chill is not one of my good words. You know, it's not in my vocabulary that well. So I was just a little bit down, but I'm, I'm fine. Last night, I actually watched a friend of mine on YouTube. I had not watched her in a while. And I watched her video last night, and it, it was like a slap in the face that said, be thankful for what you have. Because she, and I did not know this, and a lot of you may watch her. It's Heather from uh, Heather Kahn from uh, Needy Homesteader. Bless her heart. I did not know that last year, that's how long it's been since I've watched. I, I just don't get to watch YouTube that often. Uh, I did not know that last year she lost her husband in a terrible, terrible car accident and a drunk driver hit them head on and then she almost lost her life. She is still struggling with all of the um, re recuperation and she's still, you know, it crushed her leg. She almost lost her leg so she's still struggling with all of that and uh, you know, when I was watching her do her video on it the lord just said girl you better be thankful for what you have because you know here is somebody that's lost her husband the breadwinner of the family almost lost her two small children they were in the back and both of them were were hurt seriously but they they are doing a lot better now almost lost her life and you know here you are complaining about not having a floor or a kitchen so God just kind of, sometimes he has to slap me upside the head and go, you are very blessed, so be thankful. And I was. That just brought it all back to me, and I said, Lord, forgive me for being so grumpy today. <laughs> and uh, so I just thought, and if any of you don't watch her, go over and check out her channel. She's still not able to do videos she's still she's about to have as a matter of fact another surgery on her leg and the only way right now she has to earn any money is through her youtube channel she doesn't have a store or anything so it just helps if people watch her video and i'll, I'll try to remember to link her below but if i forget it is the needy k-n-e-e -E, like kneading bread the needy homesteader and she's she's a very very sweet person but anyways so I decided I better straighten my act up all right now on this one we're gonna cut a little notch out well I tell you let's cover it with paper first then we'll cover cut our notch out <laughs> um this I think we could cover with that we don't need it to go all the way back because this is actually going to be a little pocket so it doesn't need to go all the way back in there but we can cover it up to let's see up to about right there so I'm just going to put some glue down here now this book page is thick enough that my regular glue this is our glitter glue it goes on well and it doesn't show through but if you've got a thin book page or some thin paper, then just make sure that you add maybe a uh, glue stick or something like that to put your glue on so it doesn't show through. And you know what? I think I'm going to get my utility knife and trim that. I, I just think it might be a little bit better because sometimes I end up cutting 
a little bit too much with my scissors. And me and those scissors are not good friends right now, so. I still need to clean the glue off of them, but I kind of quit when things went south. Oh, and don't use this finger to get in your computers and things and then don't have another option. I use this finger to just touch my little pad and I get in my computer. <laughs> well, <laughs> I kept touching and wondering why it wasn't working. It's not going to work through a band-aid, so I had to create another way to get in there, which I normally have a backup password, but I had actually deleted that because I always just touched it, touched my finger there. Well, don't delete your password. See, I told you I'm rattling on today. I didn't get that very straight, so let's trim that. Alright, so that's what we have so far. I love that. I don't mind that that's even sideways either. I kind of like it. You know, this a collage sheet, run, your paper runs in every direction. So, it's not necessarily always going to be in running in one direction. So, and I think I want that flower on there like that, I believe. Alright, let's put this piece on there. I think that'll work. And I'm going to glue it down and then I will go ahead and trim it and then punch my little pull on there. Oh, and I wanted to tell you guys, um, I know a lot of you have asked questions about it and a lot of you wanted to be on the pre-order pre list and you were definitely on the pre-order order list. I cannot talk today. And you were put on the pre-order list. So I wanted to let you know that we have sent out emails to everyone who wanted to be on the uh, waiting list for our journal cradle. And I'll show you the this is the design. It's the it's the new design with the extra holes. It's got the three inch to it, two and a half inch and then the center hold, and then again this these. So this is the one that will actually be shipping to you, and it comes with instructions. Um, I've used it on a video, and I'll try to remember to link that video below. But if you did not see an email, look in your junk folder, because chances are that it went to your junk folder, and you need to pay it if you still want it, pay your invoice, because I have about, I don't know, 60 more people waiting in line. So I'm going to have to give them to the first person who pays. Kind of do it first come, first serve that way. Because if I don't, you know, I'll be waiting on people to pay forever. And I know some people don't look at their email every day like I do. But um, check your email if you sent in and wanted to be put on the waiting list because I sent emails out yesterday. Now, I didn't send it out to everybody because I had some new people who actually had just signed up. I didn't send it out to those because I need the people who actually uh, mentioned it first. I need them to go ahead and pay. But, um, so if you've only told me in the last three or four days that you wanted to be on the waiting list, then wait just probably next week I will send yours out to you. So go ahead and get those paid if you still want it. If you don't want it, I, I can understand. You can uh, just let me know by email back that you don't want it anymore and I can go ahead and give it to the next person in line. So not going to hurt my feelings at all. But bless his heart, Benji has worked really hard on this. He even worked up um, the assembly instructions, which are which is very, very easy to assemble. I mean, I don't even think there should have had to be instructions. But he wanted to make sure that everybody knew how to put them together. So he's got even pictures and everything on there showing step by step how to put it together. 
all kinds of writing about it, everything. So <laughs> he has really worked hard on this design. And I think we're going to patent this design because um, it seems to be going over very well. So it is patent pending right now. So, all right. That is cute. Look at that. Now, I want a little tab right here, just a little, I call it a pull tab, but something to open. And then in here, I'm going to put a little notebook. I'm just going to put one of those little stagger notebooks. So let me find a little tab that I can put on here. You can use a fabric tab. You can use one of the well tail punches, whatever you have in your stash to use, or you can make one. It doesn't matter. But I think I have some made somewhere, and I'm, I'm going to see if any of those work. Well, that those are way too big, so I don't need to use those. So let me see what I have in my stash. Okay, I got this little grab bag of... It's little doily grab bags. And this came from Journey of Crafting. And I think I'm going to use one of these. It's just little scrap pieces of doilies and I will link their store below too. So you can go over and check them out. I think that's cute. And I may put some little something behind it. Yeah, I think we'll put that down there. Let's see. Um, I think that's the upside. Okay, now let's make, let's go ahead and make our little notebook to go in here. Now I'm just going to grab some scrap. I'm just going to grab some scrap paper out of this. This is just my, some of my coffee dyed papers. And I put my little scraps back in here that maybe, you know, are too small to use to cover the back of a tag or something like that. So I'm going to grab some of these and I'll tear them up real quick and we'll make a little notebook for that front part there. We're going to put that right there. And I just took a few little sheets and I stitched them together at the top. You can put them together any way that you want, but I'm going to put that right there. And I'll probably just glue that top down, I think. You could also stitch it on there if you wanted to. That right there. And I've just got them staggered different heights here. I guess I can say this is Melina's challenge, can I? Because she made little notebooks. Even though I'm making this a little bit different, we could say that it's her challenge. Now you've got a little pocket over here. I'm going to stitch all around this. I just like that look, but you don't have to do that. But I'm going to stitch all around it and I'm going to stitch this little piece on like that. And then we'll have our little pull there. And then I'll show you what that looks like. And we'll make a couple more and we'll make them in a variation, different ways. All right, there is our little piece. Now, do we want anything on the front right here? We could always put, you know. <laughs> I forgot to sew this on there, didn't I? Yeah, I was concentrating on something else. We could always put another little dolly there. I don't think I want to though. We could put a little butterfly down here. So let me see if we have butterflies while this is, while I'm putting this on and it's drying. See if I have some that are close to this size. Oh, that would be pretty, wouldn't it? That one. This is the little butterflies that we have, or we had. We don't have any of these anymore, but they're the little, I call them acetate butterflies. They call them washi, but I think they're more acetate because the pla they're actually on like a plastic, a clear plastic. Cut them out a little bit. You don't have to do very much to them. Yeah, that's going to look pretty. And then I just use my barely, I just use my art glitter glue and put, put it right on the back where the butterfly wings and everything is. And then when it glues down, it you can't even tell that it's a piece of acetate on there. See? Just looks normal. Let's see. I think I want a little button right there in the middle of that. If I have one that's small enough. No, I want a darker one. Let 
Yep, I want that one. Go ahead and put that button down. Now you could stitch that button on or put thread in the middle of it. I'm just going to put it down like that. And then, of course, we need a little bit of bling because we've got a butterfly. So let's get just a tiny bit of bling. And I will link Melina's challenge video below where she did some little notebooks. They're very, very cute. You guys need to go over and check that video out. Um, she was a little bit down the other day. She said, Mom, it seems like nobody's wanting to watch my videos anymore. Or not many people. And I said, well, you know, things like that happen from time to time because people have lots to do. So, it, you know, they have a lot of a lot of better things to do than watch us, probably. But I said, just don't get discouraged. Just keep putting videos up, and and it'll pick back up. But uh, she get she gets discouraged really easy when people don't watch because she she thinks that she's doing something wrong. She said, am I doing something wrong? Am I doing the wrong kind of videos or what? And I said, no, baby, you're you're doing great on videos. Just keep putting them up there. All right, then we can put a little something right here in this pocket. And I'll probably wait till I put it in the journal. You could do a little stamp on here if you wanted to. Isn't that cute? So let's make a different variation of that. So let's take another book page. And I think I might go a little bit different on this one. Let's see. See what we can do. Let's go make this pocket a little bit bigger and then make this a little bit narrower like that. And then on the inside here, we'll put another pocket here. So let's do that. Just trying to make sure that my pockets are going to have plenty of room. I think they are. So I, again, I'm going to cut a little bit of this bottom off. So we'll try to do um, these in maybe three or four different ways, three or four different options that I'll give you so that you can make your own in any way that you want. All right, let's see what paper we want to use this time. Oh, I wonder if I can get that little girl on there. I think I can. Yep. Okay, I'm going to tear the edges off of this. Um, I'll cut this part out because you guys know how to get rid of the little white edges. Okay, now let's see if our little girl's going to fit. Yes, I think she's just going to fit. It's going to be pretty. I'm just going to put her on there and then I'll trim off around the edges. There we go. Okay, so that's got her little girl on the, ooh, isn't that cute? She's a doll. Now we need to cover in here. And, oh, look, we could do, we could put that right up against that and just continue it on. Let's see, see if I can savor my birds, maybe. Mm, maybe one of them, if I do that. Oh, well, I can print it again, so we're going to do it. We're going to go with it. I don't know, maybe two. And this is my way of measuring, you know. I don't really take a lot of time with measuring because I don't like to. <laughs> I like to just put things down. Sometimes I make a mess doing that, too, so... Not, don't do what I do. Okay. I still got most of the birdie. That's okay. So then we can glue this down right there. Match that back up. Yes, that will work. So let's do that. So Miss Brooklyn is heading out of town with the bus again. She's excited. And there, she's going to get to sing on stage. Uh, Bethany and Presley and Brooklyn and I think maybe Aaron are gonna they're gonna do a song together I think I think 
that I know they did before. I'm not sure about it. I don't really know exactly what they're going to this weekend. It may be a case where they can't put them up there, but we'll see. I think it's a church, and if it is, then they can. If it's some kind of, you know, convention, they can't can't bring anybody else on, but I think it's churches that they're going to this week. They'll be gone most of the week. They're leaving tomorrow, and they'll be gone on Mother's Day. I can't believe my kids are going to be gone on Mother's Day. But, and we were, we was going to go with them to this event, but since everything has happened like it did, then we decided we better stay at home. We've got contractors coming next week. And, you know, they're going to be giving us quotes and hopefully starting pretty soon. So we've got to stay home. So they're going to Kentucky, I believe. So if you're in the Kentucky area, look up where the pilot family is going to be. P-Y-L-A-N-T. If they're going to be near you, then go see them and tell them that I told you to come. <laughs> I think it's Kentucky. I'm pretty sure it is. It's Kentucky that they're going. And I'm just folding that piece around. And I still get one of the birds, so that's good. And then Melina's birthday is coming up. Her birthday is on the 12th. So I'm hoping they're going to be back by then. I think the 12th is on Thursday. And I'm hoping they're going to be back. And if not... I won't get to see my girl on her birthday. I usually do Alicia and her a big, you know, get together and food and all their favorite foods and favorite cakes and everything like that. But I'm not going to be able to this year. Alicia's birthday was the 28th of April, which was last week, and uh, I told her I said I'm sorry. I'll have to catch up. When I have a kitchen, I'll, I'll catch up with you and do you a nice meal and cook your favorite cakes and pies and all that. She said, that's fine, Mother. I got good girls. I bought Alicia a pair of tennis shoes that she want, She had been wanting. She's a, a shoe girl, and she likes tennis shoes, all different kinds. of. They're, they're kind of a tennis shoe. I wouldn't call them exactly a tennis shoe, but they're similar. And she had been wanting them, so I got the link and ordered those for her, and she was happy. She said, they're just what I wanted. Okay, so that's going to be our pocket. You know, that, that pocket that I was talking about putting across here? I can't put that across there. That's going to be a pocket there, so we can put a little pocket over here. I really hate to cover up that, but I think I'd rather cover that up. I don't want to put a pocket on the front. So, we're going to put us a little pocket right here. Sometimes you have to cover up something, don't you? Sometimes it's something that you don't want to cover up, but you got to. Just trying to find a paper that will work. I think that one will work. I'm not real crazy about that bug. I'm not a bug person. It's got a bug up there already and a bug right there. So, let's see. I'm going to have to cut that bug in two, I think. Or we could use that. Nope. I'm going to cut the bug in two. I'm just not crazy about him. And then we don't need to go past the fold. So I'm just going to fold it up and then I'll cut right down that little line that I made with my fingernail there. Yeah, we can put that on there and we'll still have our butterfly. So that'll be fine. Let's see, what else can I tell you? Mm. Oh, I was talking about Miss Brooklyn. She's happy as a lark. She's going to be gone all week with her mom and her best friend, which is Bethany and Erin. Even though they're her cousins, she calls them her best friends. And her dad's going to be home, and he's going to be working on projects that we've got going together for the laser cutter. I don't really know anything else right now. I'll probably have lots of stories from Melina when um, they get back off of their trip. <laughs> she always has lots of Brooklyn stories. So when she gets back and she tells me all the Brooklyn stories, I'll have to catch you guys up. 
because I think they're going to try to do a little bit of sightseeing while they're up there too so that'll be fun and I'm going to stitch around this so I'm not worried too much about the glue isn't that cute I would like to have a little bird to put right here or a little butterfly because she looks like she's looking down there at them so let me grab I've got some little butterflies that Katie sent to me a while ago so let's just see if we can find one that will go well there's one but it's awful tiny I like that pink one I really do it's got a little bit of pink up here so I think that'll work and let's try to find a little baby one that might go there and we'll just put two on there what about a little pink and a little green one what about that okay I think I'm gonna go with that little pink and green one there I'm gonna put a little bit of ink around the edges just so that they'll stand out from the page a little bit if I can hold on to them they're so tiny I can't believe that Katie cut these out by hand as tiny as they are I mean I can't even hold them and yeah I'm gonna do it I started to say I'm not gonna put any bling in those because they're so tiny but I am I just think it sets them off when you put just a tiny bit and that you know they're not gonna hold but maybe one little piece but that will be fine there we go cute I love that now I'm gonna press that down well then we have our little pocket in here that we can put a small tag in and then we can put a tag over there in that one and I'm gonna put a little pull on that as well okay I have this little lace I have a bunch of little pieces of lace here and I'm thinking that that might go right there like that so let's see I'm trying to think I think I'm gonna glue them down first and then I'll stitch over that maybe let's see if I can do that and I don't want to cover her up so I'm gonna put them real close to the edge I think I got a little bit under there that's all I want I don't want a lot and then I'll stitch right across it, hopefully, if my sewing machine will cooperate. So let me go and stitch this, and then I'll show you what this one looks like. And we're going to do one more variation, and then I'll let you go. All right, there is that one with that stitch on. And I'm not even worried about this popping up a little bit, because once this flattens out and the glue dries and everything, it's going to be nice and flat, so that's fine. And then I can put a little card in there and a card in there. So that is another one. Now let's do one more variation. All right, here's our piece of book page. And on this one, we're gonna fold this side kind of short, like that. And then we're gonna fold this one a little bit larger, about like that. So our whatever we want to put and I'm going to put a couple of pockets over here like stacked pockets and then this will be my tuck on this side so that's the way I'm going to do that one and, and again I'm going to trim it off a little bit because I don't want it to be quite that tall oh I hope you don't hear my stomach growling I'm hungry let's see I didn't eat any lunch and I just thought about not eating any lunch a minute ago oh look at that bird I think we can get that on there I do believe let's try to get the birdie on there okay I'm gonna go ahead and tear the pieces off here and when I want to tear just straight I use my Tim Holtz ruler with the metal side and it tears it, well when I hold it right it tears a straighter edge than the tear ruler because the tear ruler has a scalloped edge and it you know I don't tear too straight so but it will tear straight er if you hold it down yeah I don't want to cut his little beak off so I'm gonna move him over a little bit or I could fold this a little bit more maybe let's fold this a little bit more because we don't want to lose the beak on our bird 
This book page is really old because when you try to fold it, you can feel the cracking in it. So I'll probably need to fold that around a little bit anyway. So let's see if that will work. Let's tear that off right there. Now I'll be able to see a little bit better. Oh yeah, that's going to work. So let's glue him down right there. And I will most likely go ahead and just wrap around. Just going to make sure that I've I want this part on, even if I have to lose a little bit of that. Okay, looks like I might have to lose just a tiny bit, and that's okay. Yeah, that'll work. So, we'll go ahead and cut this part off. Well, I'm not going to cut that off. I was going to wrap that around, wasn't I? Oh yeah, that's going to look cute. And we'll wrap this little piece over. Yeah, that'll take care of that cracking on that edge there. And I'm not covering the back of these because I will glue these down in my journal. But if you're not going to glue them down, you could cover the back of them. But I'll be gluing them down like that and probably leaving either the side or the top as another tuck. All right, this is going to be our pocket. So we need to cover some of that. And let's see, I'd like to have some of that writing on there. So I'm gonna tear this piece. I think I said it wrong a minute ago. You don't use the metal side to tear, you use the, the little shallow side, the side that goes down. I don't know, I probably said it backwards. I know what I was thinking, but I don't think I said it that way. Okay, now. Let's put, I just want, yeah, that'll work. Just want that in there just a little bit, and then I can still see all of this writing. I like that. And we'll cut it right there. I'm trying to decide if I want this there or that little butterfly. I don't know which I want. I think I'll put it that way. Okay, let's go ahead and glue this down. And again, mine is going to be stitched, so I'm not too worried about the extra glue. But if you're not going to stitch it, just make sure you put glue all the way out to the edge. So you don't want it coming apart. There we go. Okay, so that will go that way, and then we'll cover this with something. I think I'll just cover it with that right there. Oh yes, I like that. Cute. Okay, now where's my fold? And in general, you need to wait until these dry before you start folding but my patience doesn't last that long yeah I like that with that on there and I'm going to trim just the slightest little bit of this off hopefully I won't go crooked and cut my little envelope open there there we go cute I like that and then I'm going to put a little pull right here then on this side, I said I wanted two pockets, didn't I? Two little stacked pockets. So let's see what we have that we could make some little stacked pockets with. That would make a cute one because it's got blue over here and that blue there. But I want to fold that top down because th this is just copy paper. So it's not very strong. And then I'm going to cut the edge off over here because I want the edge to be straight. Not, not have that little deckled edge on there so put that there so that will be the top pocket right there I'm gonna go ahead and glue this little piece down and then I'll try my best to put a little pull in here that one will go about right there then we'll put another one on top of that one so let me grab another piece of paper well, let's use that one I'm gonna again I'm gonna fold that top over 
just a little bit just so it'll be stronger okay all I want to do is cut a little bit off of the edges and that little white piece off at the bottom you know we still have not got any more of these trimmers and I don't know what the issue is we've been waiting months now then you just need to measure your other one to see where you need to cut all right let's ink around this and then we'll put it down you don't have to ink the bottom and I'm not going to glue the bottom that way you, your tag can go all the way down in this so just leave that top piece open let me see if it's straight nope didn't look straight yeah that looks straight enough okay go ahead and glue this little piece down and I can't pick it up and flip it okay now on this one we're going to glue all three sides and this one will actually be the stop for this one so when you put a tag in the one up there then it will go all the way down to the bottom here but then this one will stop it and I want to make sure did I go over my looks like I might have went over just a little bit so let me move that over okay I can trim that off if I need to but I can't go over my fold here okay that's better now we can go ahead and just give this a little snip I don't think it's gonna need much okay we'll go ahead and glue this little pocket down side tuck pocket so then you have a tag you can put a tag in here and I'm this is just paper so I know it's not gonna go too well but it'll go all the way down to the bottom and I don't have anything any stronger I don't think hold on okay I do too I have this so that'll go all the way down to the bottom so you can have a long tag on the top and then in this one you'll have a shorter tag so that will work All right, do we want to put anything on the inside? Let's look here at some of our little embellishments and see what we can come up with. You can always use a tiny doily. I like that there. These actually, to me, look like little Christmas ornaments, so I'm going to try to cover those up. I don't know. This might have been a Christmas collection for all I know. I've had it in my stash a little while. I used parts of it but I had not used it all so I'm gonna put that down there I think I might put that piece in the center of that and then I have a piece that can go over here let's see I think I like this one better these are just some of the little Tim Holtz um, couture pieces of ephemera they're small and they're really good to use in places like this where you have a smaller area to decorate so let's see we might even want one going that way maybe no I don't know I might put two there hmm now I've got this little tiny piece of vellum that I have had it laying in that stash for a while I can't even throw a piece this small away and it has some printing on it so I'm going to put that down first and I'll grab my Barely Arts okay. and then ink up these little pieces so they look a little bit dingier hmm, I might put that one up there yeah that'll work and then that in there Go ahead and press that fold down real well. There we go. And I think I want some little something right here. I don't know what. Let's put that label on there. This was cut out of a digital from Hello Susan. I've had it in my stash for a while and it matches those colors perfectly. 
then we could come back and add a word on there if we want to. Now we just need something right here for a little pull. That's just a little piece of vintage doily and I think I'm just going to glue that down there. Just it alone. Let's see. I'm going to cut that little, little piece off right there. Okay, and then I will stitch around that one like I did these. But that is just some little different kind of pockets or I guess you could call these pocket booklets because they're actually a little pocket and then they're a booklet as well. But that's just some different ones that you can make. Very easy, quick, and you can use scraps if you want to make them or just some of your digitals. You can also use your scrapbook paper if you want to make them out of that. But I think they're cute, they're quick and easy, and I will try to remember to put all the links below where I got the idea and where I got all of the digitals and that kind of thing. So we will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Bye-bye.